Hello everyone! Today I want to show you how to make such short jacket. I'll make it very short, till the waist. You can make it longer if you want. It will look exactly like in the picture. I don't need any fasteners or buttons. It will look this way. I will wear it with skirts or dresses. What is interesting about this design is that the one-piece sleeves are cut this way. You know that usually the one-piece sleeves look this way. They're straight. Thanks to this design, there is not too much extra fabric in the armholes. The design is pretty simple. I need just one detail for the back and two for the front. I don't like buttoned items, so I'll just attach the buttons along the neckline as a decoration. There will also be buttons on the back neckline. Golden buttons will look amazing on the dark blue jacket. Now you know how the jacket will look like. Let's have a look at the measurements. The chest is 58 cm and I add 2 cm for the fitting ease, so it's 60 cm. The waist is 52 cm and 2 cm for the fitting ease. 54 cm. The jacket will not be of a close fit and it won't be long, so I don't need any other measurements. The sleeve length is 50 cm, the back width is 20 cm, and the back length is 40 cm. I don't add much for the fit and ease because I'm going to make a one piece sleeve. I recommend making the first jacket of a modeling fabric. Do it in order to see if you like the design and to adjust the pattern perfectly, to practice. What I want to do now is just to show you the techniques. Let's start working. I draw the first line about 4 cm down from the edge. This is the 7th neck bone level. Now I measure the back length down from this line, 40 cm. Draw a horizontal line. This is the waistline. Now I'll divide this space in half and draw one more horizontal line, the chest. This line starts from the seventh neck bone, this one. This is the waistline. I've divided the space in half and draw the armhole level line. I don't want the jacket to end right on the waistline, so I add about 7 cm more. I want its bottom to be somewhere in between the waist and the hips. I measure the back width, 20 cm. Watch what I'm doing. This is the back width. Now I need to measure the chest on this line. The half is 30 cm. Next I need to draw a side seam. I make it a bit bias. You can make it straight if you want. Now I need to draw the back neckline. It's 8 cm wide and 3 cm high. Don't ask how wide it should be. I change the width each time depending on the design. In this case, I don't want the neckline to stuck on my neck. But at the same time, I don't want it to be too wide. Now I draw a shoulder line, making it a bit biased. Now I can move on to the sleeves. I pin the fabric for it not to move. This is the side seam. A regular armhole would be here, but I don't need it. I need to put a mark somewhere in between the waist and the chest. I need to draw a sleeve line.
Watch how it should look like. Now let's get back to the shoulder. My shoulder is 13 centimeters long, so I put a mark here. The length of the sleeve is 50 centimeters, so I measure 50 centimeters and draw the second shoulder line. I'll make it a bit wider. This is how the shoulder looks like now. You'll realize how comfortable it is when a sleeve is designed this way. Notice that you need to make the sleeve round after the back width line. Sleeves of such form are very comfortable. I want you to understand that there are a lot of types of one-piece sleeves. Sleeve slope can be different. A sleeve can be absolutely diagonal. There is a lot of fabric in the armhole in this case. Or you can make it a bit slope. Set jackets are very comfortable. Now I'll cut it, tack, and then I'll try it on. I don't add anything to the neckline but I add for a seam to the shoulder. Have a close look at the sleeve form. Try to remember it. If you don't want to make facing, you can double this jacket with the other fabric. This is the back. I've already showed you how to adjust the pattern for the front. We need to raise the shoulder for a couple of centimeters and change the neckline. The rest of the pattern stays the same. If you cut the front on the basis of the back, you won't have any problems with matching the details. I've marked the center back. It should match the center front. I'll draw it now. Be very attentive. I need to raise the beginning of the shoulder. I raise it for about 2 cm. Now I need to make the neckline 12 cm deeper. I make it round. Remember that the sleeves should match. When you raise the beginning of a shoulder, adjust just the shoulder itself. Have a look here. You can see that the width is the same in the front and the back neckline, but the depth is different. You can make a neckline as deep as you want. Add the bit for a seam on the center front. It won't take you long to make such jacket. It's very convenient. Make it white or beige and wear it with anything you like. You can make such jacket almost of any fabric you want. Cotton, 
wool, and so on. Have a look here. This is the back. And this is the front. I wanted these edges to be round, so I make them round. I mark the wrong side. Now I'll take the jacket to show it to you. This is the front. And this is the back. I need to take all the pins out. The jacket is almost ready. I'll put it on when I finish taking. I already have such a jacket, so I've decided to show you how to make it. Such simple items can help you be different. Make a jacket longer if you want to wear it with pants or jeans. Such length is perfect for skirts and dresses. Now I'll turn the jacket right side out and try it on. Notice that there's not too much extra fabric here in the armholes. I try to show you different designs, both simple and complicated. It's very useful to be able to make an item fast and without any problems. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauk Shterina. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.